So when it comes to getting breast implants, I know a lot of women in Bust Mob ask about rippling. Mm -hmm. So what exactly is rippling and how can you prevent it? Rippling is being able to see the breast implant um, through the skin, mm -hmm. basically. It's seeing or sometimes feeling an imperfection in the implant. Um, and it typically happens with women who have very little subcutaneous fat. Like, I'm fine. Is that uh, breast tissue? Uh, oh, no, sorry. Like, uh, well, yeah, fat? okay. Some of it's <laughs> breast tissue because breast is okay. made of fat. Very, very thin women okay. tend to have a harder time with rippling than people like myself, well within the normal BMI curve and a little to the right. Um, <laughs> so, and then certain implants are more likely to ripple than others. Mm. So saline implants ripple more than fourth generation implants, which ripple more than fifth generation implants. And those are silicone implants. Right? That's right, that's okay. right. Mm -hmm. So saline in general ripples more than silicone. Okay. And then as the silicone implants got more cohesive or more solid or more like gummy bears, then they ripple even less. Um, there are certain types of breast augmentations, certain ways to use a breast implant that either is more or less likely to cause rippling. Mm. Um, so for example, under the muscle, less likely to cause rippling than over the muscle because the muscle is now covering the top one third, two thirds, et cetera, of the breast implant. So you have a lower likelihood, especially up top of rippling because the muscle's right there. However, on the sides where most of us, so most people that get breast implants don't have a lot of breast tissue, right? Uh -oh. <laughs> Shocking. <Rock>. Good science. <laughs> um, so, and then where we really don't have any breast tissue is kind of like to the lower outside mm -hmm. of the breast. So then over this part is the more, most likely place to have rippling. And then I'm going to tell you a story that you're not going to believe, but it's true. I'm ready. Is that many patients after surgery will look at themselves a lot in the mirror. Oh. In the bathroom. <laughs> Very harsh lighting. Right. Yeah. Weird positions. Mm -hmm. If you want to see yourself, because this is going to happen to you, you're going to think it's not, but then it will. And then you'll be like, oh, my God, I heard her say that. When you're in the bathroom mirror like this, <laughs> and you're hunched over with your shoulders together in the most awkward position ever, harsh lighting uh -huh. down here, right. you'll probably be able to find it mm. on the outside. Shocking. When I, tell, <laughs> when I tell my patients to do is put your arms down. <laughs> Stop down. doing that. And it'll make it a lot better. Okay. So I like that there's different types of breast implants mm -hmm. and there are different ones that can provide you with less rippling, but mm -hmm. really it comes down to a conversation with your surgeon mm -hmm. to know what's best for you and your anatomy. That's right. If you're researching plastic surgery, you're gonna wanna hear this. The video you just watched was one of hundreds of educational plastic surgery videos that you can find in the completely free Bust Mob Academy app. Go download it in the App Store. That's right. And that's not the only free resource. We have tons of them that the team at Amelia Aesthetics has built with you in mind. Yep. So you ready to start researching? Watch this video right here to learn about all of the benefits and resources available to you in the Bus Mob community.